Shalom, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, the Kapadash. All right, and the Wada Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, for giving us the spirit and truth in these last days. All right, it's always double honors to our apostles, elders of Great Millstone, that taught us this truth and do it well. Salutations to the Zakarian Wa'achim, and Shalom to the elect. All right, so yeah, uh, you know, Lord's will, we can title this lesson. All right, um, you know, pretty much. Uh, stand now in a multitude of thine, of thine enchantments, okay? For uh, none of thy enchantments or thy enchantments shall prevail, man. Okay, because at the end of the day, the so-called white man, he saw Edom, he's constantly putting up uh, uh, enchantments, he's constantly, uh, 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 matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Rather than speaking, let me get this quick precept. Because he saw Edom, so-called white man, all right, he's done, and he know he's through, man. Because his enchantments is not working on the man of the Lord. All right. Now, two thirds of our people, okay, they're going to get caught up in it, but that's prophesied, man. The scriptures say, uh, Who have blinded his servant but me? The Lord have blinded uh, Jake, man. Oh, uh, this is a uh, sloppy. Give this real quick. All right, this is uh, Micah chapter 2. Micah chapter 2 and verse 1, it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Right? And uh, the scripture say in uh, Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. The earth is in the hands of the wicked. And guess what the so called white I man you saw Edom is doing, man? He's constantly practicing wickedness. And when you go into that word uh, practice, it's pretty much a uh, witchcraft, man. Okay, and that's what he does uh, uh, continuously. You might not see it, but it's through the television. It's through the food that you eat, okay? And, and you don't realize it until ultimately he starts to uh, uh, come down with the hammer, man, with these draconian laws and shit, okay? And then you start being like, God damn, this dude is wicked as hell, man. But see, the men of the Lord, we can look right through it and see your, uh, uh, your blasphemy. We can see your tricks. We can see your scandals. We can see your snares. And it's only a matter of time before you how about you outside. Uh, uh, lift up that uh, uh, skirt, all right? And can them nasty ass panties you got on, man? And that's why the Lord uh, likened uh, uh, you to a woman, man. Babylon the Great. You see, the Lord is getting ready to uncover your skirts, man. He's making you naked, man. He's making you bare by your by your own uh, internet, man. Through the spirit and power, you have by me outside what was prophesied, man. So, you know, so let's go and get into this in uh, your enchantments, man, because it was ultimately prophesied that whatever you do, okay, it's not gonna work, bro. That's why we know who we are. You spent, you had the BDG, the Biblical Destruction Group, but we know who we are, bro. You didn't destroy the Bible. You didn't do anything but for, for a, a prophecy and forge your destruction. The scripture say, because you have not hated blood, even blood shall pursue you, man. You constantly uh, Jack and Jake shit up, man. You constantly, put, what's this guy, Ahmad? Uh, you got a protest now, like the Trayvon Martin shit going on? Um, Ahmad, Ahmad Arbery, yep, some shit like that going on. You see? Okay, and he, uh, the cop got off. It's nothing new, man. That's that old hatred, man. But that's the intent makes you putting out so that they can get roused up, man. You know? Go ahead, up. Right. It's the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Kind of scripture says, Surely there is no, verily, truthfully, all right, of a truth, there is no enchantment against us, man. It was prophesied that we were going to wake up in, out of the valley of dry bones, man. Go ahead. Neither is there any uh, divination yeah. against Israel. Right. So there's no there is no power. There's no divine intervention. All right. On the left hand side, that can alter a uh, uh, prophecy, man. You see, everything you're doing, okay, is from the heavenly Father. All right, through through His left hand side, man. All right. Go ahead. Up. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What have the Most High wrought? Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion, and lift up himself as a young lion, and he shall not lie down until he eat of the prey and drink the blood of the slain. Kind, that's going into the future prophecies, man. No, hey, the scripture say, Who shall rouse him up, man? Uh, in the book of Micah, I believe it says, uh, uh, Judah shall be a, a tearing to Egypt, roughly to say. Or say about, they shall be a, 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 as a young lion, you know, tear, and, and they, they shall not wait for men, roughly to say, you know. All right, matter of fact, I get it. That's it on that. I, okay. I get it real quick. 
uh, this is uh, Micah uh, chapter uh, 5 verse 8 it says and the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest as a young lion among the flocks of the sheep who if he go through both treads down and teareth in pieces and none can deliver it right so the Lord is going to raise uh, Jacob man you know because ultimately Esau is trying to raise up you know Jacob against you know his uh, his own people, you know, uh, against Esau, Edom, all right? Because he wants the race wars. He wants this order out of chaos, man. He wants the chaos, man. That's why he's, uh, he's, he's using this coronavirus, the so-called COVID-19, all right? Okay, CD-19 uh, uh, ultimately pushes his agenda, man. It's all witchcraft on the left-hand side. And believe it or not, these are all things that were already, because they said it started uh, May 1st. You have May 1st, May Day, okay? You have these uh, uh, Illuminati uh, ritual sacrifices that go on and take place behind closed doors. But they're, uh, they're getting profits on the left-hand side. They're getting this uh, prophet, uh, prophesied on the left-hand side, man, by these witches, man. You're seeing these warlocks and these stargazers, man. All right? How far they're going to go with it. And they believe in that, man. You see? But the Most High is getting ready to upset this man. Okay? Because the Most High, you help us some shot control on the left-hand and the right-hand side, man. Okay, and he can feel his vibration. He can feel that power, that enchantment, that spirit that he got on Jake. He can feel it getting lifted up. Okay? That's why he want to number all the, uh, all your views. He fucking with the, your feeds, taking down our channels because he know he know we're raising up, man. All right? Go ahead. Right. It's the book of Numbers, chapter 24, uh, verse 14. Yep. And now, behold, I go unto my people. Come therefore, and I will ad advertise thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. Right, so this is a uh, 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 Balaam, uh, the prophet, going up um, with, uh, uh, I believe, uh, Balak. Yeah. All right, and uh, he's, uh, you know, ultimately he wants uh, Israel, all right, to, uh, uh, to you know, be given over to him, man. All right, which uh, Balaam is a, a witch, uh, he's a witch, all right? He's a sorcerer, man. Okay, but this is a, a pretty much what Esau Edom is doing today, man. Okay, he wants... These are uh, uh, enchanters, all right, to tell them pretty much that you're going to devour them with a chip. Everybody's going to get chipped. Your new world order is going to be established. All this is going to work, and it's not going to work. No matter how much blood you drink, no matter how many rituals you go to, you're going to fall, bro. Okay, it's prophesied, man. Sit down and dust old virgin daughter of Babylon. Go ahead. Reading on. Uh, and he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, have said, mm -hmm. and the man whose eyes are open have said, he have said, which heard the words of the Most High and knew the knowledge of the Most High. Yeah, hey, real quick, and that's a, that's a cut. I go to show you the Most High deals with the left hand side too, because he's a witch. This is not a, a Israelite, but what it said, uh, he heard the words of the Most High, man. So the Lord deals with the left hand side as well, man. He created uh, the scripture says, "See now, I create peace and make evil, man. I kill and make alive." So the Most High is the one that's uh, in control of uh, life and death, man. And death, man. Not life or death. Life and death, man. The Lord is in control of this, man. You know? Go ahead up. Which saw the vision of the Almighty. Right, which saw a vision. So what? It was it was it was something that was gonna happen, man. This is prophecy. So now he's getting ready to prophesy. Go ahead. Falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob. There shall come a star out of Jacob. He started prophesying, man. Here it is. He, said, he took him up to the mountain to curse them. And he started talking about, you know, Shai coming back, man. He said, I shall behold him, but not now. You see? The star of Jacob is, uh, that's prophecy. That's in the book of Isaiah, man. All right? Go ahead, up. That's your Shai, man. He started speaking about your Shai in the book of Numbers, bro. Go ahead, bro. And reads on. And a scepter shall rise out of Israel mm -hmm. and shall smite the corners of Moab mm -hmm. and destroy all the children of Sheth. Yep. And Edom shall be a possession. And Edom shall be a possession. All right, that's a future prophecy, man. So called white man Esau Edom, all right, is a possession, man. Okay? So it don't matter what you do, bro. Your time of judgment, all right, is nigh. Like the brother Chandler, end is nigh. Well, uh, 2 Nezah 6 says the end of the world is Esau, man. It's nigh. It's close. How do we know? Because you're losing your you're losing your uh, your power, your darkness, man. Your magic. 
You're Illuminati. You're supposed to be enlightened. You're losing that power, man. You see? Go ahead up. Come on. Uh, Seer also shall be a possession for his enemies. That's right, man. Seer is a possession. Esau, the whole uh, the whole head. It's going to say neither root nor branch. You're all going in captivity, man. Go ahead. And Israel shall do valiantly. Yeah, valiantly. Uh, valiantly. Valiantly. Good. Out of Jacob yeah. shall come. Hey, real quick, when it said uh, valiantly, that's spiritual powers, man. Mm -hmm. All right, Israel shall do valiantly. Did not in Obadiah say, Savior shall come out of Mount Zion? Saviors, man, spiritual powers, man. That's what's going to translate this kingdom. Let's just say, Saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, just like Brightburn, man. You see? We're going to get turned up, man. Brothers are going to get turned up before they receive them bodies, man. Certain brothers out here going to get turned the fuck up, man. Start fucking shit up. We're going to be uh, 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 144,000 hawk smashes out here, man. You know? Brothers is going to rage hell, man. And brothers don't aid. And, and majority of us don't even know how to fight. But the scriptures say, what? Well, Psalms 144. He teaches my hands to fight, man. The Lord is going to teach us how to. Uh, he going to give us that download, man. Like Neo in that day. You see? And we're going to tread upon Esau. He know this. He know the prophecies. He know we're going to be like young lion, man. He know we got to be roused up. He know the prophecies. But a lot of you people don't know what's going on. But that's why the scripture say, for the elect's sake, those days are shortened, man. You see? We're doing this so the elect can hear this prophecy and they can receive it and repent, man. And turn to Yahweh from Shah and believe on the words of the prophets, man. So that they can be saved by the engrafted word, which is able to save their soul. Because majority of people don't know what the fuck going on, man. All right? Go ahead, Art. Um, out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion. Yeah, and who is that? Yahweh Shai. That's Yahweh man. Mm. Shall have dominion. Matter of fact, let's get a quick preset real quick in the book of Daniel. You no, know, he prophesied, bro, and he not even an Israelite. I go to show you the power of the Lord. All right, so Esau, you through because he prophesied that he prophesied how Shai was coming back, and you shall be a possession in the book of Numbers. But that was thousands of years ago, man. You finished. This is Daniel chapter 7, uh, verse 27. It says, In the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven. All right. Let thy, what do you all prophesy in the book of uh, Matthew 9? Let thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come. Right. It says, In the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high, which are who? The 144,000. Okay. And the one third. It says, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him, man. All right? Going to that word dominion, man. Powers, principalities, rulers, man. Okay? Governments. All right? Mountains. Okay? The Mount of Esau. The Mount Seir, man. Esau, Edom. Okay? Shall serve and obey who? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Bakakudash. And that's prophesied, man. Go ahead. Um... So like, um, out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Woo! So Esau is done. He shall perish forever. That's over dying, man. The only chapter. All right? Because, because of thy violence. That's it on that. Uh, a water. That's beautiful. Because of thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, man. Esau is done. All right? That's why Job said uh, uh, he's seen him uh, being chased away as a bad dream. All right? E even uh, Job knew that uh, uh, he was going to wake up, man, from this uh, his dream. This is a dream, man. This is not life. This is a dream. That's why it's called American Dream. Because the Lord is ultimately going to wake your ass up with thermonuclear missiles, man. You know? You're going to have to go through that fire and be purified and then wake up like, damn, I was going to fuck off. You had to come through righteous loins if you're uh, if you're the, uh, Israelite. But the elect, we already going through the fire, man. We already woke up, you see? But see, it ain't, it's not uh, physical yet. We already woke up spiritual. The scripture says, I stir up your pure mind by the way of remembrance. In the land of your captivity, you shall remember my name and think upon my name, man. And seek me ten times more. You see, so we already woke up through the spirit, but what is going to be physical when, he, when the chariots return and the Lord starts zapping you niggas up and beaming up the elect, man, and destroying Babylon the Great, which is America, man. You see, then you're going to wake up like, damn, boy, I was going to fuck off, but it's going to be too late. When it's too late, we're going to be getting beamed up. You're going to see our salvation, man. And we're going to look on your destruction. That's in uh, uh, the book of Revelations, man. All right. It says we're going to look through the sea of glass and behold your destruction. You know? 
Why? Because we're going to be in them new bodies. All right? We're going to have spiritual powers. And we're going to be like, damn, boy, them enchantments, did, did, that shit did not work, bro. I'm I'm up here. You know? Lord's will be those men. We're going to make it, man. Lord's will. Why? Because of our faith. For grace and by faith are you saved, man. All right? Go ahead, Mikey. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> Isaiah 47, and I'll start at verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries when thou hast labored from thy youth. Right. So, you've been laboring. So this, this place America was born, was birthed off of witchcraft, man. All right, go ahead. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. Right, so we're going to see, and the Most High is, 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 is uh, 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 joking with you devils, man. <clears throat> Let's see if this is going to be able to profit you. Go ahead, up. Uh, uh, if so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Mm. I, got, I got something for you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anytime you brothers want to speak, speak, man. This is... Uh, yeah, Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. I will destroy the counsel thereof, and, that, and they shall seek to idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. Kind of, hey, real quick, uh, that's just like going into uh, Saul. Okay. Right? Then he, Saul will seek the familiar spirits. Mm -hmm. When uh, he knew that he was, you know, he knew that the battle was, uh, he was in a rare battle and it was too hard for him. So what he wanted to go hear from the prop, uh, uh, from, from from the familiar spirits, man. And that's the same thing Esau getting ready to do in these last days. He's going to go run to these familiar spirits, you know. And the familiar spirits going to tell him what? <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not good. What? What did you see? I'm telling you, it's not good. It's not good. You're going to be bugging out and you're going to be shaking the ass. What did you see? So it's going to be probably had a gun on their face. Tell us what did you see? I've seen America get destroyed. I've seen you going off into slavery, mother, mother. <laughs> you know? Dunk, dunk, dunk. Let loose on you. <laughs> Haul off in the jet and get the fuck out of there. Go slap to the mountains, man. Going them underground bunkers, them uh, and bunkers in the sea. You know, it's that time, you know. But Amos the ninth chapter prophesied that though they dig into hell, mm -hmm. yet I will bring them out with my hand. Who is the hand of the Lord? Yahweh Shai and the man of the Lord by the spiritual power. So it's your we we telling you what you gonna do. We pulling your wild card. We pulling your Joker. Like damn, I know you got a seven and a Joker over here, bro. He might as well just throw that Joker out there. He threw. You know, because you're a joke, bro. Go ahead. I, you got it. And it said, the <laughs> spirit of Egypt shall fail. Yep. You know, so going into Isaiah 47, it says, uh, those sorceries which they even labored from the youth. Yep. You know, this place has been established by witchcraft and sorcery. Just like ancient Egypt, so-called America is no different. You know, so that's why this place is failing, because it's what has been laboring from, you know, going to its sorceries and deception. Yes. It's not working no more. Yes. You know, so that's why they're trying to go so hard to ultimately prolong this kingdom because from the youth, that's what they've been doing. They've right. been going to the left-hand side right. and asking for riches, asking for glory, asking for this and that. But now their contract is up. Right. You know, So that's why it's failing because it's strength. It's right. been strengthening itself and trusting in its wickedness. You know, So that's why it's not going to prevail because the Lord said no more. Right. The scripture say, I sold you into the nations for, for your, uh, not for your destruction, mm -hmm. but because you moved me to wrath, man. Esau actually believes that we are, uh, are his. Did not uh, the scripture say he believed? I think in that same chapter too, these two shall be mine. You know, I shall not see widowhood roughly the same. Yes. <laughs> you know, so Esau even believes that, you know, we're going to be a slave for him forever, man. He actually believes that. And that's why, like, backing the brother up, which is a beautiful point. That's why you can't see his, uh, uh, if, if you're not spiritual, you can't actually see the enchantments. You can't see why watching television, all right, why uh, uh, Hollywood. Okay, the, uh, the, like we said earlier, the food you eat, the things that you're doing, the, the, the your occupation, and the people you're around, the energy around you, the things that you do, your, the structure of your family. The man is not home. Women, uh, feminist, uh, uh, feminist organization shit going on, man. Kids out of all these things are everything is upside down, man. I was really about to say that. It's like Spirit. it's like you walk in a you walk walk in a room, you know, and nothing. Everything is up to the same. You see the room right here. You know, you walk in the room and everything is. 
term. And that's been outside. normal. But that's been a normal for the look for since this place from the youth, from the, from it got started. This is our land. That was a lie from the beginning. You know? When they say go back to your what do you mean go back to your our brothers was here, man. And then how can we go back go back when you 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 brought us over here? Matter of fact, nigga, where the fuck you came from, man? You know? So, but hey, that's why the scriptures say, because thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue you, man. These blood, blood, sweat, and tears is gonna is gonna seek this man until he get wiped off, man. That's the future of an Edomite. Why do you think they don't want to die, man? These devils don't want to die. They love calling you niggas. They love having a big ass house. Okay? This is their rulership, a concrete jungle, man. You don't want to fucking die. These devils don't call on the most high. They don't know the most high. They don't know what righteousness is, man. So now that we're coming into that time of their judgment, they gonna lose their fucking mind, man. That's why they just gonna, man, fuck it. We going all out. You know? Killing killing Jakes, killing their own wives. Killing their children. Because these devils ruthless, man. These devils don't care about themselves. Look at the elites. They don't care about themselves, man. They have sex with each other so that they can keep the money in their family, man. That's why they have a lot of uh, 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 bugged out children, man. Because they have sex with each other, man. These elites nasty as fuck. You know? But see, we can call that car because the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is on us, man. He gave us the wisdom and the understanding to know how you devils get down. You love homosexuality. And this is all the, the vibration that you're putting out. You see? That's why I should say when the wicked bear rule the people more, everybody's mourning. Why? Because you ain't nothing but wickedness, man. The scriptures say uh, uh, the heart in you is not upright. You can never do right, man. The Lord didn't put, the scriptures say, who can bring the unclean thing clean? You were made unclean, man. You were made uh, uh, un, uh, undone. You were undone state, man. So the Lord, you know, the Lord ultimately has a judgment for you niggas, man. Because you the real niggas. You told our people how to be a nigga, man. You know? You got it, right? Uh, 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 Isaiah 47 and 13. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let thy, let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators yeah. stand up. And save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Kind of, so let the modern day Balaam's come, you know? Let the modern day sorcerers come, man. Because what they're going to do, they're going to prophesy. Just like what happened in the uh, There is nothing new under the sun. The same thing that happened then is going to happen now, man. It was written for our learning. Esau is, Esau is going to just, uh, do just exactly what uh, uh, King Saul did, man. He's going to go to them familiar spirits, man. But see, it, uh, the scriptures give you a history of, 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 of people that go off so you can know how to fear the Lord, man. Of wickedness, man. And Esau, the so-called white man, the wicked. This nigga do nothing but put up enchantments. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 4 in verse... Um, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 16. For they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. You see? So you can't go to sleep. Your sleep is taken away. You niggas are shaking in your bed unless you cause Jake to go off by eating pork or committing homosexual or adultery or, or putting out a, 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 a blasphemy spirit. Okay? Or, or letting the record go loose. Alright? That's putting out a vibration on Jake. You can't sleep. You eat them ice is bugging out, man. Unless you drink blood, you, you sacrifice, okay? You, you, you pedophiles, man. It's complete wickedness, man. But hey, the earth was given into your hands, man. For a certain time, man. For a boundary that cannot get past, man. You know? And that's that because it says that our weary, you know, weary means to pretty much exhaust yourself. Man. You know, they can't sleep, they can't think, you know, because that's they've just been programmed to do. This is uh, like a two. Yeah. Like a two. Yeah, go ahead. You got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, Isaiah forty-seven and fourteen. Behold, they shall be as stubble. They shall be as stubble, man. Yeah. No, hey, did not. Go so ahead. that's it. That's the end of all this. All this <laughs> game. Well, what else this, need to say? This, you know, at the end of all this, all this man that he's been doing is gonna end up in him being turned to stubble. That's right. You know, so that that's that's what it is. You know, keep saying you're done, you're finished, because that's what it is. You know, mm -hmm. this stuff that you see now. 
is, is just an illusion. This is just really that purpose and time going into that chapter you just brought out. Jeremiah, uh, Proverbs 16 and 4 is just for that time of evil. You know, so when the time of evil comes to pass, which we're in now, Jacob's trouble, the time of evil, the day of doom, you know, once this time, this day passes, you know, there's no longer going to be need for all this. God. This going underground and, you know, these, yeah. this weird old shit, you know, yeah. there's no more need for it because yeah. it's been played out and it's work been fulfilled as far as what the, the Lord intended for it to be. God. Which yeah. is an example of wickedness. God, uh, and, and this, is, this is why the days got to be shortened. And our people hate us for shortening the days and hate us for praying to the Most High because they're comfortable with this illusion. They, they don't want to get waking up, man. They want to uh, chase that American dream. But us on the other hand, we understand that this is all, we understand it's an illusion. We understand that, look, we have to escape uh, uh, this this, this uh, realm, all right, in order to receive, all right, the kingdom to come, man. You know, the scripture says to be carnal minded is an enmity against the most high, man. We have to escape this carnal mind, man, all right, in order to receive the things that are spiritual. And that's why scripture says, lay up your treasures in heaven, you know. So we're waiting on that new world to come, you know, why everybody is dependent on this place. But see, a lot of people don't understand that uh, this is one third, man. One third is a big number, man. And if we all call on the name of Yahweh, we shall repent. repentance. We shorten in the days, bro. That's why days is going by fast. You even have the Lord to even send people in your life and be like, man, these days going by fast as hell. But the whole time through the Spirit, though, it's the Lord because the Lord put it on His Spirit to tell you that because you've been praying for shorter days, man. You've been praying for this place to go down, man. And it's going down, man. You know, all right. And two thirds of our people got to drink of that cup. What's the time on that? Say twenty-six. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Isaiah forty-seven, fourteen. You got so I'm gonna close out. Isaiah forty-seven and fourteen. No, you got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Right, so this, so this is right here. Isaiah forty-seven and fourteen. Behold, they shall be as stubble; the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. Right. That's the nu nuclear missiles. And chariots, okay. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before. Yeah, the scripture says, a fire not blown in the book of Job, fire not blown, all right, shall, uh, shall uh, uh, burn him, man. All right, and uh, the scripture say, uh, no darkness is hid before the eyes of the Lord, man. All right, so your secret counsels is light in the eyes of the Lord, man, because he dwell in thick darkness. All right, so you through. So with that, I hey, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Makakadash, and the water Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days. As always, double honors to our apostles, those of the great millstone, citations to the Zakarni, Ma'achim, and Shalom to the elect. Shalom.